everyone uh, welcome back to another video today I'm gonna be showing you guys the Star Wars Yoda and R2 Dagobah pack from Art FX um, or Kota Bakia or whoever they're made by both um, so this is part of the um, building I guess put together statues that are often sold at like Barnes and Noble um, for a relatively decent price and they're super detailed um, so this is a two-pack sort of um, you have a picture of R2 um, it's, it's both R2 and Yoda and you also come with a holographic Yoda which is like a little bonus statue that doesn't have any interchangeable pieces uh, which is cool but there's some pictures there and then Yoda there but um, yep yeah, so super cool I have plenty of experience with these guys I have several artifact statues um, that I've reviewed on my channel Star Wars and non Star Wars so um, I think that they are really cool and super great I happen to get this one for my birthday from my dad and um, stepmom and I think they're just awesome oops I'm sorry I didn't check the camera they're just great and I really like this as a two-pack and I love I really really like the Dagobah I like the Dagobah scenes and so um, this one was for me a must-have um, so let's go right into actually reviewing the products here you do come with um, two magnetic bases although everything is so small it can really just fit on one as you probably saw in the thumbnail or something similar um, but it does give you room if you have multiple that you can kind of cross the bases. But here is R2, and he is much dirtier than the initial photo on the box. Um, maybe it's just the paint. Let me see if I can turn it around in one hand. There we go. I don't know if you can tell. He just seems dirtier to me than on the box front, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, he overall, though, is just fantastic. He's got a rotating dome. And then his um, legs, if you're familiar with the astromech droids, can be taken apart. They can be taken out and actually um, put this way. And he comes with some interchangeable pieces. And he comes with, with a rolled up middle leg um, so he can stand straight up if you wish. Um, so really, really cool. I hope you can kind of see the detailing on them because it's great. He's really dark, definitely dirty, and dirty all around the dome as well. Um, really, really super cool. I think the detailing on this is just fantastic. Um, just a notable thing, there's kind of the dirt stuff kind of has a weird feeling to it. It almost feels like it's not sealed and I did try that out. Um, I scraped it with my nail. Let me see if I can show you. Kind of on the inside there, it's that little white dot. And so you want to be careful. I mean, it doesn't rub off, but it can scrape off. So just letting you know, luckily I was smart enough to do it on the inside because I didn't know if anything would happen or not. Um, but it doesn't affect it obviously in display and uh, his little feet do move by the way. Not this one, the middle one is solid. Um, and it just twists together, very easy to put together. It comes with instructions, you really don't need them. But there's R2, and again, I think he is just amazing looking. I think he looks fantastic. Super, super happy with this guy. Um, as for his extra piece, he comes up with a little rolled up wheel, which is still in the baggie for me, but it is dirty as well. They have painted that also. Um, and then we have the two Yodas. This is the um, holographic Yoda statue, and he is just one solid piece. He doesn't come apart like the other one, which is really cool. You don't really see Yoda in holographic form unless you consider this like the spirit Yoda, which I mean you can. And they are the exact same size. Here is the interchangeable Yoda, who I think looks great. His little necklace is an add-on. Sorry, I'm gonna, sorry, I didn't mean to stick my finger there, but his little necklace is an add-on piece. As you can tell, it's not quite settled into his outfit. And I have just his concentration face on, like when he's lifting the X-Wing out of the swamp, and he's got a force arm. And there's lots of little details on this Yoda that I never noticed before, like how his sleeve is torn right here, um, which is super cool. And then his other arm is holding the cane. And I think he just looks great all around. And he too fits on the magnetic base. He has magnetic feet. The little statue does not. Um, and so in terms of size comparison, I believe they are scale. So really, really cool. I think he looks great. He comes, Yoda comes with several other accessories also. Um, he comes with an extra arm so that he can hold on to his cane with both arms. I chose him to do the different pose because this Yoda has open eyes and both hands on a cane, so I wanted them to be look different. Um, but here is his other arm that goes on. And again, it just snaps together, super, super easy to put together. Um, no struggle at all. And then the other piece is an awake head, uh, which also looks great. The detailing on these are just fantastic. Um, 
really cool. I definitely love the two packs. Um, they are the funnest, I think, to, to get. Um, but I think that they look great, and I really, really like the articulation. If you're not, you know, able to afford a higher-end collectible, like maybe a Hot Toys, which are poseable, um, you can also just go for maybe a Kotobukiya and get, like, statues like this. And um, the seams are all pretty good. You can definitely see the seams. But honestly, it's not really a hindrance. They put them in places that you don't see them, that you don't catch very off, you know, very easily with the eye. But overall, the detailing is great. Like you can see Yoda's back muscles in there and the, the flows of his, um, the fabric of his um, little robe. I think it just looks great. I think they both look really, really good. And the great thing with this set is you get this really, really nice R2. I believe you can get a normal R2-D2 too. It comes like with a C-3PO pack. But you get this R2-D2, and then you get this Yoda, and then you get a special Yoda hologram, or Yoda spirit, um, which is cool. So you kind of get three in one. And like I said, like you saw from the thumbnail, I think, is you can fit all three of them on the stand together, which is fantastic, which is probably how I'll be displaying it. Um, and then, of course, everything, you can store the extra pieces in the box and just save the box. So overall, I think it's great, and I'm really, really excited with this birthday present. I think it is amazing. So let me know what you guys think of this, um, and let me know in the comments. And as always, stay tuned for more videos. I hope you guys enjoyed.